सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी आर डूइंग characteristics of the units it is possible for us to know about all the details of the units about all the details of everything that exists and we said there are just nine things to know why nine things because if you see if you look at the form and the property the form of units how they look the shape the property you know how um, what effect they have and so on there it looks like there is so much variety how can you know all this in the existence and everything is changing so you don't know where to start but we are more interested in finding out that which is continuous that which is universal that part of the existence which is unchanging because what is temporary is shifting is moving on and it appears to be gone different changed but then there are some things that don't change that are continuous that are there and we are not able to see this through the gross eyes this needs our internal vision our looking within by looking within we have the potential to know all this all the units in the existence and that part which is unchanging that part which is universal that part which is continuous that is knowable for us through the higher activities of the self so the nine things that we were talking about if you see in nature to study nature we had classified it into four orders on the basis of some characteristics similar characteristics therefore the units are put into one order so if you see that which is universal that which is um, continuous that which is definite that is knowable or at least we have the potential to know about that through our higher activity of um, contemplation where we can come to know about the natural characteristic of the unit every unit in these four orders the natural characteristic is how the unit participates along with other units the relatedness of one unit with another unit so those are four things four things meaning for the four orders the material order or the physical order the bio order the animal order and the human order for all of them the natural characteristic or their participation so that's four things then we can also come to know about the innateness of the four orders innateness meaning what is their um, self organization how they function on their own 
without any interference from anywhere and how they are not only in harmony but when they interact also they are maintaining the harmony so again in the four orders when we look at the neatness again four more things to understand and if you look at the submergence which is also unchanging submergence is the same for all that is talking about the coexistence that we need to observe directly this coexistence so that's one more thing so four things we have to study about the innateness of the four orders their self organization four more things we have to study about the participation of these four orders with one another how they participate the units with one another and the coexistence so these nine things we said we have to understand and this is possible to do through our higher activities of contemplation understanding and realization so ultimately we have to move from our lower activities to our higher activities to have the higher activities guide our lower activities which we were referring to as transformation transformation from animal consciousness to human consciousness ultimately that is what we need to do and yesterday the assignment we gave was also um in relation to that we had asked you to reflect on all these activities of the self the lower activities and the higher activities and we said that every self has the potential to reach this highest activity of realization in the self so to reflect on where we are right now means our focus where is it on which you know which activities of the self we are largely focused on today for all of us for each one of us to to see for ourselves focused on means in our living where is it and what we are doing on a daily basis to try to awaken to the higher activities within and undergo the transformation within so if you have any reflections on this any observations any discussion you'd like to do then we can do that now so this transformation this development moving from animal consciousness to human consciousness awakening to a higher activities this is possible for each and every one of us question is are we paying attention are we looking within are we making effort for transformation and where are we or if there is a question mark you have a doubt you are not able to understand what was asked then also you can ask your question this chart that you see in front of you this is what we are talking about transforming from moving from using only the lower activities towards moving towards the higher activities so the question was where are we with which level are we at most of the time in our living and can we see where we want to reach that was the question so if anybody has any questions regarding this doubts about it or any sharing they would like to do then we can discuss it namaste ma'am namaste to all uh ma'am uh, regarding that assignment mm-hmm. in, i am focusing on the 
day to day life uh, contemplation is going on uh, with my activities ma'am so like uh, whatever the work i am doing either in a home or working place uh, when i am talking with the other or when i am thinking out anything uh, uh, whether i am uh, thinking in a right way or not like that uh, compared to earlier with this journey more and more contemplation is going on that is a uh, thinking about that that is the one thing i am observe and another one is the uh, in each and every thing whenever i am taking a decision or putting the proposal to the anybody or understanding the uh, relationship of relationship uh, whether i am um, taking the decision or anything either in a assumption or right understanding uh, or with the previous uh, uh, experience that is how i am judging uh, in uh, all the cases uh most of the cases uh, uh, sometime my previous experience is dominating i shared so many time but uh, uh, i i i observe that it is reducing because before i take a decision nowadays i thought so much and uh, i refer my natural acceptance ma'am and uh, regarding that uh, relationship i can able to uh, uh, keep myself always uh, the uh, comfortable I, it is occur naturally but uh, sometime i get disturbed uh, with that external uh, triggering also but i resolve that uh, uncomfortableness uh, quickly uh, this is how uh, it's going on ma'am very nice very nice thank you for sharing see many people hesitate to share but now that you are shared now everybody else can see what they will reflect on where they are also nice we'll see you know like um, in this chart that you see um if you see the lowest activity you know the lowest part there you will see that there is only that selecting tasting part so not that nothing else is we have awakened to but our largely our focus may be there that something nice should happen outside i should you know feel pleasant food should be tasty um other people should behave nicely with me others feeling should be good to me so that is the expectation part that something good should happen from outside i don't see my effort my role so when it's hot i want cooler or ac to cool the environment i may be doing work in uhv i may be participating in something in uhv but while the lecture is going on or somebody is talking and i am listening my mind is shifting to what must be the food made at home if it's close to lunch time i might be thinking okay what's going to be there for lunch today what will i get to eat will it be tasty or not and so many things like that so the ladies they may themselves have made it so they won't have that question but you see what i'm saying that we may be our focus may be on that part the expectation part or our focus may be largely on the analyzing part so if this is this then what does this mean you know trying to answer the question logically analyzing everything beyond that is observing the feeling so if we have awakened to contemplation then every time i will be able to see 
in the relationship with anybody else what is my feeling uh, my focus will be on my feeling ensuring my feeling within having trust on intention of the other each time and seeing my role my participation in the interaction rather than just expecting the other to change or expecting the right feeling from the other now my focus shifts to okay this person lacks competence so if i think i have better understanding let me play my part so the first thing in my role is ensuring my feeling within having trust in the intention of the other and then helping him or her with the competence this would be my participation so if i am working towards my participation then i am in that zone of contemplation i am trying to ensure my feeling within i am trying to see my role in every interaction rather than expecting the other to change expecting things to change outside and so on once we awaken to this then slowly we move towards the higher activity of understanding then the highest activity of realization but it will take a lot of time so we shouldn't get disheartened that you know we have been spending so much time but i am not able to see the feeling or i am not able to ensure my feeling or whatever you have to also see in the bigger picture that we may have been doing this for a very 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 long time and only now we are trying to change so now we can see that this will take some time but at least we can see where we want to reach isn't it yeah yeah nice very nice sharing hello namaste didi namaste namaste sabhi ko yeah regarding this assignment didi i am able to reflect and see that largely the day, in the day to day living uh, we are more focused on these lower activities if i start my day now that i am aware so on and off i am you know contemplating also mm-hmm. most of the times the you know, there is this okay what just like you mentioned what to cook for breakfast and so taste is also you know, playing a role when deciding that okay this should be cooked and then every activity that we do in the day uh, most of the times we are in this a uh, lower block only but uh, slowly because i am exploring with all of you i am able to contemplate also on the activities on whatever i am doing every day whatever things we have so this is i just i wanted to share nice very nice A question that often comes to me <clears throat> at uh, these days is what is the purpose of life yeah is is this the only ha huh, getting up every day having food doing all those things or is it more than that why just keep thinking about it that what is the purpose of life can you say something about this didi yeah so see one is when you say you know getting up thinking about what to cook now here even though your thoughts are on the physical facility but it is also your participation here isn't it you are cooking for the whole family yes yes so in that you can see if you are cooking with the thoughts of hmm let's eat something tasty today <laughs> so i want to make this 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 something different something tasty then i am looking at you know my focus is 
on the physical facility part on the sensation part getting some happiness through the body sense organ but if i am cooking with the idea that you know what is nurturing for the family let me cook that then my focus is on my participation with reference to my natural acceptance isn't it so you will yes. see the difference this was one thing i wanted to mention the other thing when you are talking about the purpose see if we look at this we said we want to be happy in continuity now that is what we want what we want to be for that what we need to do we need to know everything about this existence so ultimately our purpose is that our purpose is to transform transform from animal consciousness move up to human consciousness to understand the existence the way it is and just to be with that live in that you know with that harmony that is already there at least not disrupt that harmony so that's why you know depending on our level of competence we may start looking in that direction or we may continue to look outward and just go by you know make more money eat be merry and those kind of thoughts so only when we look within we start you know examining this who am i and what is my purpose why am i here yeah is it just a coincidence that things are like this or is there a true purpose to me being here so of course if those thoughts are coming to us if those questions are coming to us that's a good thing because only then will we move in that direction isn't it mm-hmm. so this is what we need to do this is where you are uh, you know, what we are discussing is right in that track on that direction does that answer your question Yes, yes, Didi. Thank you. Thank you, Didi. Thank you. Namaskar, Madam. Namaskar to all. Namaskar. Uh, madam, when I was observing uh, yesterday, as I have been observing for a very long time, uh, in some of the incidents in the college, when I refer to, when I observe the behavior of uh, my colleagues or other uh, persons, uh, i observed uh, there is a, a gap between what uh, uh, am i re- now and what i am really there is some gap because when i refer to my natural acceptance and uh, what you in, are and what you really want to be ah uh, yeah that is what, what i am uh, yeah yeah in in, in the gap what i am and why too? yeah 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 yes madam when i refer to my natural acceptance it will take some time to be in line with it in some occasions it is uh, uh, taking more time so what i have been doing uh, uh, exercises and uh, before you we also i have been trying to allow people uh, ir- ir- irrespective of their activities even then there are some incidents uh, immediately i got irritated uh, yesterday also uh, and it, it took me uh, some more time to be in line with the uh, natural acceptance however uh, uh, regarding food madam once one one thing i would like to add also regarding food uh, it will take very less time for me to be in line with natural acceptance for a very long time before you, before you and now also but in behavior and all these things i am taking more time but however out of all uh, i have seen some improvement uh, in me to be in line with the natural acceptance faster than the previous condition that i observed madam so yes we can notice all these things the changes that are happening mm-hmm. it's a good thing we are moving in the right direction hmm? okay regarding food i have been able madam hmm. 
ப்ரீவியஸ்லி இவன் தான் லேர்ன் ரிகார்டிங் சாத்விக் ராஜ் சிக் தாம்சிக் ஃபோர்ட்ஸ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் கைண்ட்ஸ் ஈவன் தென் ஐ வாஸ் அனேபிள் டு டேக் த ரைட் ஃபுட் ஆக்சுவலி பட் கிராஜுவலி ஐ ஹவ் பின் ஏபிள் டு வென் ஐ கம் டு திஸ் டைப் ஆஃப் வே ஆஃப் லிவிங் வென் ஐ ரிஃபர் டு நேச்சுரல் அக்செப்டன்ஸ் Uh, I have been able to uh, be in line with uh, natural acceptance regarding food. Nice. Very nice. But regarding behavior, uh, I have been uh, unable to, madam. Uh, but there is yeah. improvement. Improvement I have seen. Yeah. So, you will find that for different people, the focus will be in different places. Uh-huh. Yes, madam. For some people, they may... see, it is also to do with our previous sanskars. No? What yeah, re- re- really, madam. and what we need to work on more on yeah, yeah yeah so if we are able to notice this that's very good because then we know where we want to reach and where we are Isn't yes it? madam yes madam thank you very nice thank you madam uh, good morning ma'am uh, see when everything is fine i am in harmony and everything goes on fine but if some disturbance happens in life by the other's behavior uh, previously i was uh, carried away by that and i was losing two hours three hours in my own imaginations uh, that is what i was able to observe and uh, yesterday when i was irritated by my husband's activity uh, actually i was also carried away by his activity and i could get Uh, the feeling of anger in me i immediately noticed it and i uh, tried to come out of that feeling and uh, i changed my feeling into the harmony and was uh, try to accept his com- uh, competency and i was trying to see that where i can bring in a change in him or to accept his competency ma'am so this is what was my observation yesterday ma'am yeah here you let me just point out you know when you say that mm. when you were getting irritated by your husband's activity mm. see our sanskars are so deep this is how mm. we look at it mm-hmm. so now you have to remember that you are creating irritation mm, yes reaction to his activity not that he yes. is irritating you yes 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 Yes, yes. So it is my choice. I can create mm-hmm. irritation also. I can create acceptance also. It's up yes. to me. Isn't it? Yes, yes ma'am. So, very nice that you could observe that, you know, mm-hmm. earlier you were spending so much mm-hmm. time was going in just yes. the reaction part. Now yes. the reaction has reduced. And you will find mm-hmm. as you keep going, the reaction mm-hmm. reduces further and further until even that slightest mm-hmm. reaction doesn't come. okay only response okay yeah thank you for okay. this program ma'am yeah okay. and and remember that our focus can be on our mm. ensuring the feeling okay then helping the other not trying to yes. change the other but yes. helping the other okay, having ma'am. concern for the other okay yeah? that change okay. will happen when it mm. happens okay but if my focus is that the other should change somewhere mm. that is my expectation and if it doesn't happen i get disturbed yes yes so yes, rather yes. Than focus on that let me focus okay. on ensuring my feeling when my feeling okay. is ensured with mm. that i look with concern at the other that perhaps such mm. and such thing happened therefore he behaved like mm. this so how mm. can i put him at ease how can i help him mm. out with concern okay. for the other yeah okay thank you Very, so this chart is important to look at as a means of trying to understand the four orders in nature and particularly if you notice here we are talking about this innateness and natural characteristic we are looking at the self organization and the participation of the unit as compared to other units 
So if we look at the physical order, with the example of say soil, water, you know, air, whatever else, some activity is always there. Something is being formed. Something is being deformed, like we were saying yesterday. but they exist in that form so existence is part of their self organization they do exist and what is the participation when they combine with or when they relate to other units they form something they something is formed something is deformed some composition is happening some decomposition is happening and this continues generation after generation if the constitution is fixed it remains okay coming to the bio order the plants trees shrubs and so on something is being formed something is being deformed in the plants also that part is already there but now there is the added activity of respiration they are taking in something they are bringing out something hmm? so in the daytime the plants are taking in carbon dioxide bringing out oxygen in the night many of the plants are taking in oxygen bringing out carbon dioxide and of course there are several plants that are taking in carbon dioxide bringing out oxygen throughout the 24 hours tulsi is one such plant therefore we rever it so you will notice that this is true of all plants that some respiration is going in they are taking in something putting out something that is going on what is innate to them innate to them is not just that they exist but they also grow this makes it different Dif makes them different from the physical order that there is growth in the plant there is no plant that you can find that does not grow the only way you can stop it from growing is to cut it now if you cut it and put it aside now it won't grow but now it's not part of the bio order now it has become part of the physical order so you'll notice this that every plant will grow it is innate it is part of the self organization of the plant and the participation is something gets nurtured something gets worsened so if you see the participation with the soil as the leaves turn yellow they are um, sort of no, no longer sort of active they become something that is useful for the soil but even before that there you will say that okay the leaves have fallen from the tree now they are part of the physical order and so they help in the um fertility of the soil but even before that if you look at the roots so something is being taken in by the roots from the soil and something else may be getting put out now here you know whatever was in a particular form that changes when it is taken up by the plant some things will nurture it some things worsen it but it knows what to take knows meaning it is part of its organization that it takes up only those things that are required for the plant and the inheritance is seed based so if the seed is right this can go on generation after generation if we tamper with the seed say unknowingly when we don't understand these things we may tamper with the seed if we tamper with the seed then this generation after generation this going on may not happen the right way like we took the example last time of papayas so olden times you know the papayas before we started 
making these hybrid papayas and all of that if you go back to thinking now you don't find those papayas much you don't see them much but they used to be the ripe papaya used to be still kind of greenish yellowish on the outside and was completely yellow on the inside and you would have noticed that there were lots and lots of seeds today the papayas that you get in the market they can be anywhere from green to yellow to orange from outside but inside they tend to be orangey red in color and very often very few seeds are there so you see that we have changed where one seed could have given so many thousands and thousands of papayas and so many seeds were there it would have continued generation after generation but the papayas that we are using now the modern hybrid papayas you will notice that with those seeds you can grow the papaya only for one or two years after that they don't seem to work and you have to buy more seed so we have broken that line of continuity which was seed based unknowingly so that's why it's important to understand how these things are working how things are going on in the existence so that at least we don't disturb the things if you look at the animal order now in the animal order there are two entities there is the body of the animal and there is the self of the animal so in the body if you look at the body the body is similar to the plant body so there is formation deformation there is respiration that is there in the body but in the self now there is the self in the self the focus is largely on selecting tasting that much the animal is awakened to so largely you know if you see dogs they will go after getting food getting milk and so on if you look at the innateness part body of course same like the plant so it exists and it grows the animal also grows as it gets you know th- through the passage of time in the self of the animal there is a will to live this is significant every animal self has a will to live wants to live if you look at the natural characteristic the participation in the case of the body it is the same as with the plant in the case of the self we give it the term cruel or non cruel but you can see the characteristics like the characteristic of a cow versus the characteristic of a carnivorous animal like the tiger those animals which are carnivorous tend to be ferocious what we refer to as cruel but that is how they are that is how their nature is and they also have a role to play in the existence you no know, supposing they didn't have this it might be that the deer may become too many in the forest and there may be an imbalance but you can see that there is a harmony in the forest there, there remains a balance unless of course we interfere with it with poachers and all of those but till the human being interferes there is a balance there is a harmony that is maintained because each unit is participating and in the inheritance part you'll find that it is breed based so if the breed is pure generation after generation the characteristics will be the same if again we tamper with the breed then we cannot be definite about the result of that the characteristics may change in several areas so we last time also gave them the example of milk or the a2 milk versus a1 milk so the the milk that comes from the pure breeds pure beads like the what we call the desi cow indian cow 
लाइक द गिर काउ द साहिवाल एंड सो ऑन और द स्विस ब्राउन द इंडिजिनस द प्योर ब्रीड्स द नेचुरल ब्रीड्स दैट मिल्क इज रिफर्ड टू एज ए टू मिल्क एंड दैट इज बेनिफिशियल नर्चरिंग फॉर द ह्यूमन बॉडी If you look at what is largely selling in the market today, like the Jersey milk, this is not A2 milk. This is A1 milk, which has got different characteristics. This is not a pure breed, and so the effect on the body is also different. So this milk has been associated with high cholesterol, um, with heart disease and so many things so now you can see how a change in this inheritance pattern can lead to change in characteristics change in the way it functions generation after generation so we need to be we need to understand things the way they are and then live in harmony with that at least not disturb that harm coming to the human being when it comes to the body of the human being it is similar to the plant body so there is formation deformation in the body also something is being formed something is being deformed we take in food it gets deformed it is being used to form various components of the cells in the body all this is happening growth is also happening in the body child grows from birth till when he is older in the self of the human being now there is not just the lower activities but the potential to be able to awaken to the higher activities which was not there in the animal cell so here not just selecting tasting but imaging analyzing logic all that can be used in the human being and also there is a potential for understanding for awakening to these higher activities which was not there in the self of the animal the innateness part my self organization so in the body it is the same it exists it grows just like the plant body in me now if you look at the animal self it had a will to live in my case in the case of the human being the human self it not just has a will to live but it wants to live with continuous happiness so this is an added it's like a need for me it is it is part of my self organization that i just don't want to just keep living without being happy that's why if i don't see the happiness within i try to look for it outside in various ways but eventually we need to awaken to the higher activities we need to have the right understanding within the self have the right feeling and right thought and be in happiness in continuity that potential is there if you look at the natural characteristic or the participation ultimately our participation if we are only awakened to the lower activities we are not able to see the participation we keep looking for things to change outside people should change things should become better all of that but when we are able to see our participation then all these we have awakened to these you know higher feelings in us the bravery the generosity perseverance we are able to see our own effort our own role in helping the other concern for the other compassion for the other and so on and in the case of human beings you will find that this inheritance of this is based on our education and sanskar it is not by birth that is why in the same family you will find two people with very different sanskars 
even though in this lifetime they have the same environment perhaps the same education but depending on the sanskar we may have different characteristics so this was about briefly about the nature chart we did this in detail earlier also um if there are any questions we'll take them otherwise we'll move ahead uh, namaste didi <coughs> uh uh regarding the uh, the yesterday's assignment mm -hmm. so i was just uh, thinking over it uh in the in the department uh, there are uh, apart from the uh, workload they had given some activities to conduct the students mm -hmm. so uh, i went uh, personally i wanted to conduct a club uh, like a language club so that it will help the students mm -hmm. so with that they have give us uh, uh, they uh, given us given me more number of activities uh, compared to the others uh, 16 activities are there i had given the i have been given the six activities initially i thought that uh, i will get more activities then i changed it see if i uh, uh, if i want to contribute or uh, improve myself uh, i can take these activities so that uh, it will be get benefited the students also get benefited even also i can uh, even i i will uh, personally also i will improve it in mm -hmm. that sense i thought without uh, thinking uh, whether it is more or less i just thought nice. of like that nice like, and also one major thing i could able to see uh, entire uh, this morning session i will walk for an hour mm -hmm. i'll come when i come back to the home uh, i used to ex i was expecting beginning when i come to home they immediately they had to open the door otherwise mm -hmm. i used to have some sort of uh, feeling now uh, after so, so many or more, more than a 6 months now i'll see that feeling whether it is changed right now i can stand stand for 4 5 minutes also even if they do not open it without any feeling within me so th those without things without any I, feeling or without the action with uh, without the, without the reaction i'll wait yeah. until they open it with that nice. these are the things yeah yeah so you'll notice such changes happening very nice yeah keep working on it keep going with the self exploration and you will keep finding these changes these may be looking like small changes but they make a lot of difference because if you are able to be in harmony within even for short spells yeah. of time in between it's very encouraging isn't it yeah yeah uh, one more thing to the i what is that one more thing see uh, i'll just uh, uh, means if i get any assignment i try to use to imagine a more means uh, uh, i'll uh, some assignment or some work is there i'll try to imagine this is how i have to work or these are the things i have to plan it so sometimes that also it uh, means uh, it makes me more uh, burdened so that i uh, that i wanted to change is it uh, related to the feeling that imagination also plays so that i have a doubt now see whatever we have to do certainly we have to plan for the day isn't it yeah. so you will use the lower activities but there is a certain guidance from the higher activities also so you will plan according to say a realistic planning sometimes you know we get over excited and we say okay we will do this 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 this, this for the day yeah. and it may be too much much more than yeah. it is realistic so then we get disappointed then we get disheartened then we have you know so somewhere our expectation was not right we okay. thought we could get this much done okay but so the, accordingly now you can plan you can see the lower activities still have a role certainly okay okay the important thing is the purpose of the the activities that is guided by the natural acceptance so that you will be able to see yeah ah oh, okay sir thank you thank you very much yeah thank you didi namaste didi sami ko namaste didi regarding bravery uh, i see bravery is required only at the time of disaster but when we are composed inside we won't see that as a disaster so there i am getting sceptical purpose of bravery 
yeah that we'll come to it tomorrow can we do that we are already out of time actually ji didi ji pick up your question first thing tomorrow ji didi sure didi thank you okay thank you